So I have been aspiring to build my own CNC router for years now, and I've been slowly acquiring parts and planning it out in my head. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get around to it. This is just an introduction video. This is probably gonna be a whole bunch of parts of me struggling to build this machine, uh, which is, I think it's crazy that people even do this, but people do it, I'm gonna do it. Subscribe and I'm gonna show you how. But in this video, I just wanna show you this, some of the stuff I got so far. I got linear guides off eBay. You know, Chinese round boys. I got some a stepper motor kit off eBay as well. I'm using some giant 1200 ounce inch steppers. I got drives. I got a controller board that came with the kit, which doesn't work. So I'm going to get a new one of those. I got some steel framework for it, which is uh, some giant tubing because I'm going to clear span the X axis so I can run one ball screw underneath. And a lot of people, maybe they'll use two motors on either side, you know, one motor on either side for the x-axis. And I think I think that's fine, but with stepper motors, they're open loop, so you don't have feedback. If you if you step a, skip a step on your stepper motor, then your gantry's all cockeyed, and you don't know, I mean, who knows how long it's gonna go unless you check it constantly, you know. Uh, so I think using one is probably the safest way to go, in my opinion, so. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna clear span, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clear span it. Let me do that right now. Here is my main frame rails I'm gonna be using. Of course I have multiple of these, but this is my linear guide for the x-axis. And this is two by eight steel tubing, rectangular tubing, uh, 3 16 wall. And that is the minimum I calculated that will uh, give me acceptable deflection. So if you use deflection calculators or do the math or whatever, theoretically this will only deflect five thousandths of an inch. But then we're going to add the gantry weight. My gantry is probably going to be like 200 pounds. I didn't really calculate that in. I did calculate some kind of a load, I think maybe 100 pounds when I got to the five thousandths. But for the gantry is probably going to end up really weighing like 200 pounds. So it's uh, probably going to be more like a hundredth of an inch deflection we're going to have. And for a wood CNC router. A hundredth of an inch accuracy is, you know, highly acceptable. I don't think I'm gonna have any complaints about that. But uh, that is the deal for my side rails here. And, and the uh, gantry is gonna go on the other side of it, down underneath, and there will be a, you know, the ball screw in the middle. Just imagine if the other rails on the other side. And this is. These are those uh, linear rails from eBay. Seem all right. Here's some more linear railage back in my shed. I'm gonna use these for my Y axis. And then I, ha I got these for my Z. I don't have to cut them down. Uh, one note, the guy from eBay, I got these off of in China, shorted me out bearing blocks big time i only end up getting one of these small ones i'm gonna need to order three more of those and missing a couple of these too because i don't have any on the x or on the real long boys so i'm missing like three of those too uh, i got it back though i got a partial refund though from him so ebay is good with that stuff and you know what these ones are 1500 millimeter and then the x ones are 2500 millimeter and that's not gonna give me a quite a four by eight foot cutting space, you know, when you work that out. So what I'm gonna end up doing is ordering some 3000 millimeter ones for the X axis and then take these ones and cut them down and use those for the Y and chuck these ones or do whatever, or end up using those for the Z, I don't know. Either way, I got those. So here is a stepper motor kit I ordered off eBay as well. These are giant 1250 ounce inch steppers. I mean, they're bricks, man. Those are, those are serious business. And I was already kind of messing around with this stuff. I mounted all this crap, kind of zip tied it to this piece of wood here. And I wired it up. We'll definitely go over that later in another video. How this stuff is supposed to be wired up. Oh, I pulled, the, I pulled those out. But uh, definitely go over that. And I had this stuff working fairly well. But this crappy little controller board they include, uh, it's been a while now, I kind of forget, but it was, it was only running like two of the axes. 
it, it's kind of something's busted on it so these are really cheap I'm just gonna buy a new one of these a more reputable one and we'll be back in business with this whole setup here and I cut an extension cord off you know to go into the power the main power for the uh, it's over there and just jump the power teach you the power supplies and it's not it's not really that difficult as it seems like at first we'll go over that in a whole nother video though but this these motors and stuff will definitely drive my uh, CNC these these are huge freaking huge and honestly I might get a smaller one for the Z axis I don't think I need a big that big of a motor if anyone's watching this that knows about CNC stuff uh, please comment if you think I if you think I get away with a smaller motor on the Z, that would save me a lot of weight. I would definitely like to go with that.